और Uh, that was a, a great way to get our program started this evening. And as you're taking your seats, I want to uh, take a moment to do some recognitions and uh, welcome some people uh, this evening. So from our Board of Education this evening, we'd like to welcome Mr. Albert Garvey, our board member here tonight representing uh, the board tonight. And also from our executive staff, we have uh, our superintendent, Dr. Barry Collins, uh, Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Chris Barnes, our Chief of Human Resources and Student Services, Dr. C.J. Karenik, and our Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Jeff Pittman. So we're excited to have those folks here tonight. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Collins for some opening remarks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brent. On my way over here tonight, I was told to be brief, to be accurate, and to be seated. So with that, on behalf of our uh, staff, our school board, I want to thank everyone for being here tonight as we celebrate the best of the best. Chairman Reddick is unable to be here tonight and wanted me to share his congratulations and gratitude for a job well done. It has been said, as not to boast, let your achievements speak for themselves and let others be proud of you. That is why we're here tonight. We are proud of all of you. Thank you so much for the work that you do each and every day. And it's my honor and privilege to serve as your superintendent. Have a great night and let's get things started. Mr. Anderson. Thank you, Dr. Collins, for those remarks. And um, we do have some other thank yous and acknowledgements I'd like to take the opportunity to make real quick. Um, Dr. Collins did a great job of thanking Northside High School. So we'd like to also again thank Mr. Uh, Brad Staley, the principal here at Northside, and uh, the staff here at Northside for their amazing help in getting everything ready for this evening, opening up the auditorium, and making this space available to us for this evening. We'd like to uh, thank Mr. Greg Dundor, director of the White Oak High School Orchestra, for the welcoming music in the lobby this evening. I'd like to thank Master Sergeant Curtis Locke and the Northside High School AFJROTC for a presentation of our colors tonight. Those uh, young men and women did a great job. Ms. Kayla Cooney, the Northside High School Choral Director for our performance of this evening's National Anthem. I'd like to thank Tamara Sutton, whose group you're going to hear later. Tamara is the Choir Director or Director of Choral Activities at Jacksonville High School. 
and she has a group that will be performing later in the program. I uh, would like to thank Mr. Kispe again for the work with the, uh, the food. Uh, this has been a, a great thing and good for all this coming together. Uh, Mr. Kispe is the Director of Culinary Arts and Hospitality at this Regional Skills Center. We'd like to thank him and also Mr. John Shannon, the Director of the Skills Center, uh, for all the work that they did in putting in our, um, getting our refreshments together this evening. I'd like to thank Jennifer Smith, the Northside High School dance teacher, who's up in the booth in the back for her technical assistance with our lighting this evening. And we'd like to thank Mr. Bob Savish, our Director of Printing for Onslow County Schools, for printing tonight's programs. Uh, some other folks that I'd like to take a second to recognize and thank for their assistance this evening. Uh, Ms. Jody Ramsey, our Administrative Assistant to the Superintendent for helping uh, out in the lobby and all the work that she's done in helping get people here this evening. I'd like to thank Ms. Cameron Collins and Kiona Wisniewski. Uh, in our student services department. They were the greeters at the door, did an exceptional job of, of greeting you as you came in. And from our instructional services department, Ms. Angela Brown, Katie Coulter, and Teresa Martin, who were helping out hand out the programs and are going to have a part in helping keep things uh, moving along up here on the stage. And finally, I'd like to uh, just take a personal moment to thank uh, my team, uh, my community affairs staff, for all the work that they've done. Uh, in getting everything ready for tonight. Uh, you know, they say surround yourself with good people and get out of their way. And um, I've got a great team that helps to put all of the events together that we do. And I, this night would not have happened without that group. So in the pit, we have Ms. Laurie Crowder taking pictures, working with all of that. Mr. Chris Cooney up in the booth working our sound and up here on stage with me off stage, and they want to stay off stage as much as they can. Uh, we have Ms. Jessica Wells and Ms. Francine Hall. So if you would please give all of these folks a big round of applause. Because events like tonight don't happen without a good team and a good group of people. Another group that we'd like to thank are our presenters that are going to be coming up throughout the evening during our next portion of our program. Uh, they gave up their time for a walkthrough on Monday and have come back again tonight to uh, help us present and recognize these outstanding educators of the year. So we're going to begin now with those recognitions, and I'd like to welcome Director of Human Resources and Professional Development, Dr. Tara Patterson, to present some awards for our Beginning Teacher of the Year, our Mentor of the Year, and the Gladys Stafford Award for Outstanding Secretarial Service. Dr. Patterson. The Beginning Teacher of the Year Award is presented annually to an outstanding first-year elementary, middle, or high school teacher. School leaders nominate individuals for Beginning Teacher of the Year, and finalists are selected based on a variety of criteria, including performance and teacher leadership, interaction with students, facilitation of learning and content knowledge, interaction within the educational environment, and other distinguishing characteristics. Final selection of the BT of the year is made following a classroom observation. I would like to ask the 2023-2024 OCS Beginning Teacher of the Year, Brian Geller, to make his way to the stage. <clears throat> Mr. Geller is a fourth grade teacher at Meadowview Elementary School. In his nomination for this honor, Brian was described as a natural teacher who carries knowledge beyond his years of experience. He started with OCS as a teacher assistant, and according to his colleagues, he has grown into his new teaching role exceptionally well, bringing positivity, wisdom, and a calming presence to his classroom. Mr. Geller was described as a leader among his fellow teachers, using his skills in data analysis and disaggregation to move instruction forward in a meaningful way. Each year, school leaders or beginning teachers may nominate mentor teachers for consideration as the district mentor of the year. District winners are selected based upon their effectiveness in supporting beginning teachers in the following categories. Demonstrating leadership, establishing a respectful environment, 
knowing appropriate content, facilitating learning, and reflecting on practice. Crystal Jones, a seventh grade math teacher at Jacksonville Commons Middle, has been selected as the OCS Mentor of the Year. Ms. Jones, could you please join me on stage? Ms. Jones was described by her school's beginning teacher coordinator as a powerful force who goes above and beyond to foster a positive and effective learning experience for her mentees. She demonstrates leadership and effective methods and gives beginning teachers constructive feedback and opportunities to reflect on their teaching practices. One of Ms. Jones' mentees said she would not have been nearly as successful in her first year of teaching if not for Ms. Jones' guidance. Her mentees say she can always be counted on to provide assistance, perspective, or a helping hand. Gladys H. Stafford served as a school secretary here in Onslow County. The award which bears her name recognizes outstanding secretarial service and is presented to a school-based office support person who has exceeded all expectations in work performance. Mrs. Stafford's family presents the award annually to pay tribute to her and others like her and provides $400 to go along with this recognition. The individual selected for this award consistently interacts with others in a positive manner, demonstrates initiative and creativity in solving problems, accepts new challenges, and demonstrates a desire to improve work performance as a lifelong learner. The recipient of this year's Gladys H. Stafford Award is Summersill School Receptionist Donna Baisden. Ms. Bazin has been with OCS for 18 years, 15 of which have been spent at Summersill Elementary. Her principal describes her as the face of Summersill, where she is a calming presence for families and a nurturing figure for staff. In her nomination for this award, Ms. Bazin's colleagues shared that she is the glue of their school community, who strives to make everyone on campus feel welcome and takes care of each child as if they were her own. Thank you, Dr. Patterson. Now, if you would please welcome to the stage our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Chris Barnes, our Superintendent, Dr. Barry Collins, and Board of Education member, Elbert Garvey. They will help us honor our 2024-2025 OCS Assistant Principal of the Year finalists and announce our 2024-2025 Assistant Principal of the Year. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to begin this special presentation by asking Assistant Principal of the Year finalists Amy Evans, Megan Bond, and Gary Cassidy to please join us here on stage. Our first finalist for OCS Principal of the Year that serves Jacksonville Commons Middle School is Ms. Amy Evans. She's been an assistant principal for three years, in which time she has made a lasting impact on her school community. Her principal, Deborah Hoffman, describes her as an extraordinary member of the JCS team. She provides valuable insight and she serves as the school's avid site lead and facilitated instructional and professional growth among school staff. According to her colleagues, Ms. Evans demonstrates, quote, unmatched passion and dedication and embodies creativity, resourcefulness, and resilience in all she does. Please give a round of applause for Ms. Evans. And 
She's the one in the middle if she didn't wave at you. Our next AP of the Year finalist is Northwoods Elementary School's Megan Bond. In her time at Northwoods, Ms. Bond has been a great leader and has played a pivotal role in staff and student success. Her principal, uh, Lisa Marshall, says that Ms. Bond's charm and positivity are magnetic and that her dedication to students and staff extends far beyond her administrative duties. She is known on her campus for her excellent strategic use of data to encourage growth, her hands-on involvement with the Exceptional Children's Program, and her open-door policy that shows her compassion for everyone in her school community. Congratulations, Ms. Bond. She's the magnetic one if she didn't wave at you. Our third finalist for AP of the Year is Gary Cassidy of Swansboro Middle School. Mr. Cassidy has been an assistant principal for six years and has been with Swansboro Middle for the past three. At his school, Mr. Cassidy is known for his leadership roles on the Discipline Committee, the Hospitality Committee, and Title I, as well as his valuable input on the Strategic Planning Team, Student Support Team, and Data Teams. Paige Highsmith, his principal, said that he's a dedicated professional who's positive and gives 100% for each task at hand, while teachers and staff say he is engaging, genuine, and passionate. Congratulations, Mr. Cassidy. Pardon me while I find the extra page. Okay, and the 2024-25 OCS Assistant Principal of the Year is Mr. Gary Cassidy. So now, if you would please welcome OCS Chief of Human Resources and Student Services, Dr. C.J. Korinick, to come and name our 2024-2025 Onslow County Schools Wells Fargo Principal of the Year. Okay, well, excuse me if I mess this up. It's the first time we've done it this way, um, but I'm excited about it uh, because this is one of the awards that the recipient doesn't know yet that they are receiving. Um, we've got some great principals in this school district. You know, there's, there's nobody uh, that knows the high expectations we have, the burden we expect them to carry, uh, the responsibility 24-7 that our school principals have than the superintendent and our board and executive staff. Um, and it's, it's really a, one of my favorite things that I get to do in the job is to facilitate the principal of the year selection process because even I am reminded of all that they do and all that everybody expects of them in their roles. Um, it, it's, it's so impressive to read the nominations and do the interviews, and it's tough to make that final selection. So this year's recipient, of course, as, as always, was nominated by their staff. Uh, some of the things that the staff said about this principal was that they are a true servant leader. Uh, they're, the words used to describe this principal in the nomination was that the principal is known for honesty, responsibility, compassion, high moral character, um, empowering teachers 
with an unparalleled commitment to student well-being. So I'm going to, um, cause that could describe a lot of our principals, right? Like you, you don't know who it is yet, do you? Uh, I, I'll start getting a little more specific and some of you'll start figuring it out. Uh, this principal believes that all students can achieve and have a successful future in life. This principle believes that we all can control two things, our attitude and our level of effort. Uh, this principle loves everybody and reminds people that they are loved. Yes, yes, yes. This year's Principal of the Year is Mr. Steve Clark of Richlands High School. to say this I'm supposed to do a shout out to mark three <laughs> that wanted a little advertisement in uh, and how much they support us there are supplemental benefits provider and they pro provided uh, gift certificates to both the principal of the year and the teacher of the year Uh, congratulations to our uh, honorees that we've recognized so far tonight. Uh, assistant Principal of the Year, Principal of the Year, uh, great honors that we've got there, along with our beginning teacher, mentor, and Gladys Stafford Award winners. Uh, a great start to our, uh, to our ceremony this evening. Uh, now we'd like to take a short break from our presentations to enjoy a special student performance by the Jacksonville High School Cardinal Women's Choir, directed by Ms. Tamara Sutton.
an outstanding performance and how about another round of applause for these young ladies and gentlemen. And thank you Ms. Sutton for all that you do with our students and it's a, a great, a great job. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Chris Barnes to come back out on stage for a few words before we acknowledge our next group of outstanding teachers. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to, uh, to be before you again. Um, I'm proud to uh, be part of a district that takes time to recognize uh, educators in this way. Um, in preparing for this, I initially thought, since Mr. Anderson wrote most of the script, that he was writing this too. So yesterday, as I put some words together, um, I decided to um, do something I call uh, GSJ, which is go see Jody. I don't know if you know Jody Ramsey, but if you need some good, uh, honest feedback, Jody's a good one to, to uh, read things to. And so I did this uh, little set of remarks. At the end, I said, do you, do you think I need to tell them that AI didn't write it? And she said, I don't think they'll think that. And so then I was riding over here. I said, wait a minute. 
I think I know what she means by that, so I'm not sure. Uh, but go see Jody if you want some good, honest advice. The school year began with our superintendent, Dr. Collins, challenging all of us to empower our students and to exceed expectations and with a call to raise the bar to achieve exceptional outcomes. And those exceptional outcomes are due in great part to many of the people who are being honored here tonight. Um, those achievements aren't always known to everyone, uh, and they occur often in classrooms every day in our district when kids get it and when teachers work so hard to connect with them. Dr. Collins began tonight, I believe, with a quote about let your achievements speak for themselves. Is that right, Dr. Collins? Uh, there's kind of a corollary to that, and it says, but, to, but submit those achievements to Brent Anderson for the next Good News Spotlight. So just remember that for, for your high achievements. I want to share with you a few OCS Did You Know items, and maybe you know these, maybe you've heard them. And they're about some of the achievements of the district, but only a few. Uh, our state level Department of Public Instruction recognized OCS with only a handful of other districts this year for tremendous growth in foundational reading skills. Um, our last round of state testing showed that our teachers are overwhelmingly effective as seen in EVOS with 82% of the teachers in third grade and you know of course that's where state testing begins through the high school levels meeting or exceeding growth. Did you know that 92% of the reading teachers in third through eighth grade meet or exceed the growth standard. That's pretty impressive. Um, with the percentage of students on track that Dr. Boris recently presented at a board meeting, we see that the kids who are ready for core literacy instruction in a three-year trend for K-3 continues to shift hundreds of students from being below standard to at or above standard. And that's after coming out of a, a very difficult time. And while our incoming kindergartners have a, a readiness that may be 10% or more lower than the state, by the end of our school year, guess what our kindergarten teachers are able to do? They're able to close that gap, and they do that each year. Um, then on the other end of the spectrum of the K-12 journey, we have our high schools posting a graduation rate that puts our high schools in the top quarter of the state. And those are just a few uh, great measures of success. Some might say that those are internal, though. Uh, those come from the state or, or, or from our own measurements, but there's some outside organizations that use their own metrics to show some fairly interesting things about our district. I don't know if you've heard of the Public Schools Forum, but they rank order the counties. It's, it's a county issue, not necessarily a school system. But they have determined that with the factors that are outside of the district's control, the incoming or the inputs for education, out of the 100 counties, they have us rated as 81st. These are outside factors, nothing to do with the school district. But although we're 81st in those inputs, they've also determined what they've called a high level of return on investment, that we're 29th out of those 100 counties in educational outcomes. That's, that's a great return on investment. We've been accredited by an outside organization called Cognia. This is like a, a kind of an audit procedure and the preliminary results show that as compared to our last um, accreditation process, we've improved since that time and the scores put us in a position uh, better than the network average and that network includes school systems across the world. So we have room to grow and we always want to do more for our students, but if you are privileged to visit any classroom in this district, then you would not have a hard time seeing that we have remarkable educators who Dr. Collins raise the bar every day in every classroom that we have. Um, have you ever heard the phrase, I love OCS? Anyone heard that before? Raise your hand if you've heard I love OCS. Okay, a few people. Some people have the t-shirt. Uh, what does that mean? What is OCS? Is it the buildings? Is it just the staff? No, it includes all of our students and the families and the community that support what we do. And it's a statement of support for public schools. The only places in our country are public schools that allow, um, and this is unique in the world, that allow every child the, the right and the ability to receive an education. So for the honorees tonight who help to provide that public education every day and the many who are right now grading papers somewhere out there or planning or coaching, some are in second jobs, all of whom have dedicated their professional lives to the betterment of other people's children. I want to thank you for what you're doing and for making a difference. 
and for making Onslow County a great place to work, learn, and live. Thank you very much. Thank you for those, those words there, Dr. Barnes. And yes, uh, we do like things turned in for Good News Spotlight, so we need, always need things for that. So we appreciate uh, anything that you're sending our way, and we have a lot that we, uh, that we love to share and recognize through that. Now, during the next part of our program, we're excited to recognize our 2023-2024 Educators of Excellence. This group of educators represent a range of disciplines across the instructional spectrum, and have been selected as the best of the best in each of their respective categories. These individuals represent each of the, uh, uh, from all of our schools in the county. Uh, our schools select individuals for each of these categories, and then we do select a county level uh, educator of the year in each of the following that we're gonna be looking at this evening. So now we're pleased to introduce our Director of Career and College Readiness, Dr. Michael Elder, who will announce the AVID Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards. Good afternoon. So AVID, or Advancement via Individual Determination, is an, ad, is an initiative across Onslow County Schools which closely aligns with our instructional framework. Each year, one administrator and one teacher are selected as the District AVID Educators of the Year. The award recognizes educators who show belief in all students and do the extra to utilize Wicker strategies and AVID mindsets to help students achieve to their fullest potential. So at this time, it is my pleasure to invite Megan Strimple, our AVID Educator of the Year, and Deborah Hoffman, our AVID Administrator of the Year, to come and join us here on the stage. I could invite them to do their favorite AVID celebration on the way up, or... <laughs> so Megan Strimple is a sixth grade science teacher at Dixon Middle School. She serves as the AVID site coordinator for her campus, and in this role she supports students and staff alike. She works to improve instruction and the implementation of all AVID strategies. Ms. Strimple is passionate about giving students the organization and the collaborative skills that they will need to be successful far beyond the walls of her classroom. And Deborah Hoffman, who I've spent a lot of time with this year, the principal of Jacksonville Commons Middle School, has played a pivotal role in the implementation of AVID strategies at her school. She has recently led Jacksonville Commons Middle School through its AVID National Demonstration Revalidation process. And she regularly guides her staff to use the AVID program to empower students, all from diverse backgrounds, and again, to achieve their fullest of potentials. Ms. Hoffman's colleagues say she is simply an outstanding AVID leader who fosters a culture of excellence at Commons Middle School. Let us give them a huge round of applause. Now next, the CTE Educator and Administrator of the Year will be presented by Mr. Will Lane, who is our Executive Director of Secondary Education and Interim Director of Career and Technical Education. Good evening. I would like to ask uh, CTE Educator of the Year, Daryl Jones, and CTE Administrator of the Year, Heather Van Dyson, to the stage. Career and technical education encompasses a wide range of activities intended to provide students with skills demanded in the labor market while preparing them for post-secondary degrees in technical fields. By integrating academic skills into real-world context, 
Career and technical education can motivate students to, to attend school more frequently and be more engaged and therefore improve core academic skills. The CTE Educator of the Year and Administrator of the Year Awards recognize individuals who are strong advocates for CTE and the students that they serve. By trade, Daryl Jones is a bricklayer with more than 20 years of experience. Since 2020, he has embraced an all new challenge, teaching. Mr. Jones currently serves as an Onslow County School CTE educator teaching masonry at Richlands High School. At RHS, he shares his experience and knowledge with students in the hopes of teaching them the value of hard work and inspiring them to pursue careers that will sell, serve them well in life. Congratulations, Daryl. Dixon Middle School principal, Heather Van Dyson, has been described as an advocate for career and technical education who shows unmatched support for CTE programs in her school. She has pursued an increase of CTE offerings at Dixon Middle School and has supported an annual school-wide career day, providing her students with ample early career exploration opportunities before they move on to high school. Congratulations, Ms. Van Dyson. Now please welcome Director of Early Childhood, Louisa Davis, who will present the award for the Early Childhood Educator of the Year. Good evening. The Early Childhood Educator of the Year is an individual who understands the developmental needs and abilities of each child. They provide support and guidance that help our youngest students grow and learn during the critical early childhood years. This individual applies early childhood standards to design authentic and playful learning activities which enhance learning outcomes while respecting the diversity and uniqueness of each child and their family. Outside of the classroom, the Early Childhood Educator of the Year should love learning advocate for the teaching profession, and work with their colleagues to constantly improve the quality of learning for all students. I would like to ask the Early Childhood Educator of the Year, Elaine Mansfield, to please join me on the stage. Miss Elaine Mansfield currently serves as a pre-K teacher at Queens Creek Elementary School. She has been teaching for more than 20 years, having started her career in early childhood education in the year 2000. In her time with Onslow County Schools, she has served as a classroom teacher, led professional development sessions for preschool and special education, and been a mentor to several of her fellow early childhood educators. Congratulations. Now, Dr. Lisa Peel, our Director of Cultural Arts and Global Leadership, will present our next two awards. One of my favorite times of the year. The Encore Electives Educator of the Year Award is presented to an individual that exemplifies a commitment to ensuring students have learning opportunities during the school day and beyond. Across a wide array of disciplines, ranging from physical education, visual arts, and music class offerings. 
Karen Matthews, band director and guitar teacher at Dixon Middle School, has been named the 2003-2004 Encore Electives Educator of the Year. Please join me in welcoming her to the stage. Karen Matthews is a music educator with more than 25 years of experience. She has served Onslow County Schools since 2001 and is currently the music teacher and band director at Dixon Middle School. She continues to raise the bar by growing the band program to approximately 265 band students. Can we give a round of applause for that? At the middle school level earning excellent and superior ratings at the North Carolina Music Educators Music Performance Adjudication and providing ample opportunities to her students to develop and enhance their music skills. Ms. Matthews is an exemplary leader in her profession. She serves as her school's department chair and AVID site team member. She mentors new teachers. She is the Onslow County Schools All County Honor Band Leader. She is the North Carolina Bandmasters Eastern District Chairperson and has taught professional development within our district and throughout the state, just to name a few of your roles. She has so many. I couldn't fit them in. I had to be quick. Uh, Ms. Matthews' students say she is a passionate teacher and an influential figure in their lives. She pushes and inspires them to be their best always in and out of the classroom. Ms. Matthews, thank you for exemplifying day in and day out excellence in education. Congratulations, well deserved. The Global Educator of the Year Award is presented to an educator that exemplifies a commitment to learning, teaching, and sharing about cultures, geographies, histories, and current issues of all the world's regions. They emphasize the interconnectedness and diversity of peoples and histories. I would like to ask Ms. April Pulcini, this year's Global Educator of the Year, to join me on the stage to be recognized. April Pulcini is a fifth grade ELA and social studies teacher at Richlands Elementary School. Ms. Pulcini, an avid traveler and former U.S. Marine, is passionate about traveling the world, experiencing new cultures, and sharing her experiences with her students. She believes it is important to provide students' perspective on the cultures and traditions of places near and far as they learn about the history of their own country and their own communities. Ms. Fulcini is a leader in global education, always seeking out opportunities to learn, grow, and lead as a global educator. She has been part of the UNC Worldview Global Educator Symposium for several years now and was selected to be part of the 2023-24 UNC Worldview Distinguished Fellows Program in which her global lesson focusing on persevering indigenous Hawaiian culture through aloha was actually published and shared with her colleagues across the whole state of North Carolina. Ms. Pulcini, thank you for also exemplifying day in and day out excellence in education. Congratulations. Next, if you would please welcome our Director of Exceptional Children's Services, Misty Williams, who will present the Exceptional Children's Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards. The Exceptional Educator and Administrator of the Year Awards recognize teachers and administrators for their dedication to serving students with special needs in and out of the classroom. 
Exceptional Children's Educators serve students from three years old to graduation in a variety of settings to meet the unique needs of students with disabilities. I would like Deshaun Gilchrist, the 2023-2024 Exceptional Children's Educator of the Year to join me on stage. Deshaun Gilchrist, who began her career with Onslow County Schools as an exceptional children's teacher assistant, became an EC teacher at Parkwood Elementary in August of 2023. Ms. Gilchrist is a passionate educator who believes in loving all children unconditionally, advocating for the best interests of her students, setting high expectations, and helping students achieve their full potential no matter what challenges or disabilities they may face. Now, I would like to recognize the Exceptional Children's Educate Administrator of the Year. Unfortunately, our recipient was unable to attend this evening. Um, Willie Jarman, principal of Trexler Middle School, has been described as a passionate, supportive, and knowledgeable administrator in the area of exceptional children. In his nomination, it was said that Mr. Jarman considers the whole child when making educational decisions for students and has an unmatched ability to connect and support students, staff, and parents on their journeys. Please join me again in welcoming I mean, in congratulating Ms. Gilchrist. You deserve this recognition. Now we'll have Dr. Mark Bulris, Executive Director of Elementary Education, our K-5 ELA Content Coordinator, Stacy Horn, and Rebecca Huggins, our 612 ELA Content Coordinator, come and award our Literacy Educator of the Year. Good evening. The Literacy Educator of the Year Award recognizes teachers who exemplify a commitment to high quality, evidence-based literacy instruction for all students. We would like to congratulate and thank all of our school level literacy educators of the year for their daily commitment to providing the gift of literacy for all of our students. Tonight, we recognize a teacher whose leadership and actions truly exemplify their commitment to high quality literacy instruction for all. Please welcome Literacy Educator of the Year, Lucy Turnbaugh. <laughs> Ms. Turnbaugh is a seventh grade English language arts teacher at Newbridge Middle School. She just joined the OCS team in the fall of 2023, but has already made a lasting impression on her students and colleagues. Ms. Turnbaugh is passionate about education and believes that literacy is at the core of learning. She excels at making students feel safe and respected as they work together to achieve growth and develop the invaluable literacy skills they will carry with them for life. Thank you so much, Ms. Turnbaugh, and congratulations. Now our next award presentation will be made by our K-5 Mathematics Coordinator, Vicki Brown, our 612 Mathematics Coordinator, Dr. Natalie Ostrander, and K-8 Mathematics Instructional Coach, Amity Geddes. Good evening. The Onslow County Math Educator of the Year Award is designed to recognize an educator who effectively utilizes the district-wide core curriculum and creates a hands-on, task-rich classroom environment where all students acti are actively engaged in real-world problem solving 
and meaningful discourse to promote deeper understanding of mathematical content as presented in the North Carolina State Standards. Please welcome to the stage this year's Math Educator of the Year, Kayla Russell. <laughs> Kayla Russell is a math teacher with 15 years of experience. She currently teaches fifth grade at Northwoods Elementary School where she helped her students achieve exceptional growth in mathematics. Ms. Russell believes in teaching her students critical thinking and problem-solving skills through the incorporation of hands-on activities, effective collaboration, and real-world examples. Congratulations. Now please welcome our Assistant Director of Advanced Learning and STEM, Michelle Chadwick, to recognize our STEM STEAM Educator and Administrator of the Year. The STEM Educator and Administrator Year Award recognizes individuals who have worked to promote these programs. The honorees in this category are being recognized for their facilitation of problem-based learning in their classroom and school through implementation of or support for hands-on experiences which allow students to integrate and apply knowledge and skills learned in other areas. These opportunities have real-world connections which allow for creativity to be nurtured, increasing opportunities for collaboration and problem-solving skills. Join me in welcoming to the stage Ashton Allgood Batten, the 2023-24 STEM Educator of the Year. Ashton All Goodbatten teaches earth science, chemistry, and advanced placement environmental science at Richlands High School. Mrs. All Goodbatten takes pride in instilling an interest in science in her students and seeing them develop a love for the environment. A student of hers shared that Mrs. All Goodbatten is not just a teacher, but a mentor who takes time to demonstrate how lessons they are learning in the classroom relate to their everyday lives and future career opportunities. Congratulations. Now I would like to invite Michelle Padgett, the STEM Administrator of the Year, to make her way to the stage as well. Over the past two years, Newbridge Middle School Principal Michelle Padgett has been collaborating with their staff to learn and implement the framework of the five overarching principles of what, is, what it means to be a STEM school of distinction here in North Carolina. She has been intentional. She has been explicit in her planning with her staff. She has brought an understanding of what STEM is, which is strategies that engage minds, and what it looks like across different curriculum areas. She is creating a collaborative and forward-thinking culture with her staff that will transfer to all students attending Newbridge Middle School. Congratulations to you both. Now please welcome OCS Lead School Counselor Brittany Norman to present to you the Student Support Educator of the Year. Good evening. 
ensuring student success in the classroom takes excellent teachers and administrators, but it also takes help from the instructional support staff, such as instructional coaches, specialists, counselors, and career development coordinators. The Student Support Educator of the Year is awarded to an individual who has gone above and beyond to help meet the needs of students and teachers outside of the classroom. Please join me in welcoming this year's Student Support Educator of the Year, Mr. Matthew O'Connor, to the stage. Matthew O'Connor is a school counselor with more than 15 years of experience, and he has served Northside High School since 2022. He serves as his school's success, student success and intervention team lead and return to learn coordinator, all roles in which he makes a profound difference in the lives of his students. Mr. O'Connor said that his most proud moments of his work are when students can open up to him about their insecurities, challenges, and trauma. And then he has the opportunity to be the one to help them on their journey to healing and personal growth. Mr. O'Connor, thanks for all you do and congratulations. I'll tell you, Mr. O'Connor not only is the uh, recipient of our uh, Student Support Educator of the Year Award, uh, but also earlier this year as part of the United Way campaign for Onslow County Schools, uh, he won a car. So uh, he's, having a, he's having a really good year. So we're, we appreciate, appreciate that work uh, with the United Way and also the other su support that he's providing for our kids. Now the final awards in the segment of this program are the Tech Savvy Educator and Administrator of the Year presented by Stephen Taylor, our Director of Digital Learning and Teaching Services. Good evening. The Tech Savvy Award recognizes teachers and administrators who both use and support the use of digital tools to facilitate great instruction. They make the most of our digital platform to be more efficient, effective and efficient, allowing more time to concentrate on developing and delivering engaging instruction. Tech savvy teachers and administrators allow students and staff to practice collaboration, communication, creation and critical thinking on a regular basis. They encourage the development of the skills that are prized in a global, modern work environment. I would like to ask Lasia Davis, this year's Tech Savvy Educator of the Year, to join me on stage. Ms. Davis has been with Onslow County Schools for seven years and currently serves as an inclusion resource teacher at Jacksonville Commons Middle School. She primarily teaches English language arts and has a passion for creating engaging and active learning experiences for her students. Ms. Davis frequent, you, frequently uses online games, interactive programs, and other technology resources to keep her students engaged and interested in learning. Now please welcome Lisa Marshall, this year's Tech Savvy Administrator of the Year. <laughs> Principal Lisa Marshall excels in supporting technology at Northwoods Elementary School. In her nomination, she was described as a visionary leader who fosters an environment where digital learning thrives. She ensures that the school's curriculum is infused with technology that enhances learning. She is proactive in providing cutting edge tools and resources, ensuring that both teachers and students are well equipped to, to navigate their ever evolving technological landscape. Her commitment to enhancing education through technology 
not only prepares students for the future, but also inspires a culture of continuous innovation and learning. Congratulations, ladies. So congratulations again to all of the Alonzo County Schools Educators and Administrators of the Year. Now at this time, if you would please join me in welcoming Board of Education member Elbert Garvey, our Superintendent Dr. Barry Collins, and our Chief Academic Officer Dr. Chris Barnes, and the 2023-2024 OCS Teacher of the Year, Mr. Kevin Barry, to the stage as we recognize the 24-25 OCS Teachers of the Year. Now, as they're making their way up, I'd like to ask all of our school-level teachers of the year to listen for when your name is called, so you can please come forward and be greeted by our district leaders. From there, please make your way across the stage, and we have a small token of our appreciation for that, and we're going to ask you to stay up here on the stage. We're going to get all of our teachers of the year up here, and then we're going to bring our finalists up, and then we will name the teacher of the year at the end of this segment of the program. We'd like to ask all of our uh, teachers of the year as you come up, if you would please come up on this side. And uh, we're going to have you come across, and we'll see the gentleman here. We'll come and uh, get you guys positioned up here on the stage. We'll be recognizing our Teachers of the Year in alphabetical order by school name. If we have a Teacher of the Year who was unable to be with us this evening, we would like to ask an administrator representative or administrative representative to come up and receive their plaque. The process of selecting the district's Teacher of the Year is handled by the OCS Teacher of the Year Committee. This committee includes the previous year's OCS Teacher of the Year, Principal and Assistant Principal of the Year, a community member, and other district staff. The committee reviews portfolios of the educators selected as our school-level Teachers of the Year, selects 10 semi-finalists for interviews, and narrows that to five finalists for classroom observations. From this group, the committee select, selects the Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year. Now, the individual selected to be the OCS Teacher of the Year will go on to represent the district in the regional Teacher of the Year process. So now, let's meet our 24-25 OCS Teachers of the Year. Kingsley Campbell, Bell Fork Elementary School. Heather Waters, Blue Creek Elementary School. <laughs> Emily Brauman, Carolina Forest International Elementary School. Samantha Worley, Clearview Elementary School. Eric Villalobos Rivera, Clyde Irwin Elementary School. Minnie Farish, Coastal Elementary School. <laughs> Laurie Baltimore, Dixon Elementary School.
Lacey Van Dalen, Dixon Middle School. Chelsea Palm, Dixon High School. Kendra Hobbs, Eastern North Carolina Regional Skills Center. Verna Lippincott, Heritage Elementary School. <laughs> Michelle Taylor, Hunters Creek Elementary School. Connie Oliver, Hunters Creek Middle School. Deborah Hendricks, Jacksonville Commons Middle School. Jennifer McAllenon. Jacksonville High School. Alice Whitney, Morton Elementary School. Michael Bowen, Northside High School. <laughs> Patricia Hayes, Northwoods Elementary School. Robert Hort, Northwoods Park Middle School. Nancy Fusco, Onslow County Learning Center. Elizabeth Hendricks, Onslow Early College High School. Zachary Borge. Onslow Virtual School. <laughs> Tiffany Santiago, Parkwood Elementary School. Kelsey Gerslin, Queens Creek Elementary School. Jacqueline Olmos, Richlands Elementary School. <laughs> Lila Hackett, Richlands High School. Bobby Joe Ramsey, Sand Ridge Elementary School. 
Det var aldrig på. Nicole Wright, Silverdale Elementary School. Jamie Rodenberger, Southwest Elementary School. Caroline Humphrey, Southwest Middle School. Nicole Wittenborn, Southwest High School. Wendy Sharp, Stateside Elementary School. Cynthia Pajak, Summer Sill Elementary School. <laughs> Melinda Worley, Swansboro Elementary School. Aaron Strohshine, Swansboro High School. Lisa Wimple, Thompson Early Childhood Center. Curtis Connor, Trexler Middle School. Now we'd like to recognize our five finalists for OCS Teacher of the Year. And when I call your name, if you would please, meet our district leaders on stage to receive your plaque. We'd like to have our finalists come up over on this side of the stage. Our gentlemen are gonna kind of scoot over a little bit. And we're gonna ask our finalists to line up here in the front and we're gonna recognize you guys now, our five finalists. Also need to let everybody in the house know that when we announce our Teacher of the Year coming up after we've announced our finalists, we will be shooting off confetti cannons and they do make a kind of a loud noise. So just fair warning uh, that we'll be doing that before we, or as we announce the Teacher of the Year. First finalist, we have Dana Quigg, Jacksonville Commons <laughs> Elementary School. Now Dana has nearly 20 years of teaching experience and currently teaches fifth grade at Jacksonville Commons Elementary School. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and she earned her master's degree in early childhood education from Concordia University. Ms. Quigg is passionate about education and has taken the initiative to expand her reach as an educator beyond her own classroom. She's proud of the work she has done to start and grow a leadership program for her students at her school, which allows fifth graders at JCE to become bus buddies with kindergarten students to help them find their way or take on leadership roles by applying for jobs such as leading the morning announcements, helping with car rider dismissal, and more. Ms. Quigg has, taken, has also taken on the role of advocating for her fellow educators and fostering leadership qualities in new teachers by becoming a mentor and participating in the OCS Teacher Leadership Council. Our next finalist, Caitlin Williams, Meadowview Elementary School. Now, Ms. Williams is a physical education teacher with more than 15 years of experience who currently serves Meadowview Elementary School. She holds a bachelor's and master's degree in physical education from East Carolina University. Ms. Williams approaches challenges with a unique perspective and is always looking for creative solutions. 
Despite the nationwide teacher shortage, she, sa she said it is an exciting time in education in North Carolina with more pathways available to those wishing to become educators than ever before. She takes pride in her role as her school's beginning teacher coordinator as she appreciates the opportunity to influence and encourage the next generation of teachers. Through her mentorship and ability to create a safe space for those around her, Ms. Williams hopes to inspire confidence in new teachers so that they may go on to have long, successful careers in education. Next, we have Megan Smith from Newbridge Middle School. Now, Megan teaches seventh grade math at Newbridge Middle and brings 14 years of experience to her classroom. She earned her bachelor's degree in middle grades education from NC State University and holds master's degrees in mathematics education and school administration from NC State and East Carolina universities. Ms. Smith believes that community is key in education and she makes it her mission to build trusting relationships with not only her students, but their families as well. To establish the trust with families needed to ensure student growth, Ms. Smith uses her roles as a leader in her school's multi-tiered system of support program and as a member of the school leadership team to encourage her colleagues to join her in finding new ways to communicate with families, participating in community events, and becoming active members of the downtown community. Next, we'd like to welcome Marissa Back, Swansboro Middle School. Marissa Back is a seventh grade English language arts teacher at Swansboro Middle School. She holds a bachelor's degree in education from Wright State University and a master of arts in teaching from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. Ms. Back is a highly motivated educator who takes pride in helping students learn to take care of themselves and others. She has a passion for serving those less fortunate and for prioritizing mental health in the pursuit of personal growth. Ms. Back strives to, strives to teach her students the value of making a difference, and this year she helped organize a walk-a-thon where students, staff, and families work together to raise more than $1,300 for Wells for Sudan. She is well aware, however, that to be able to give to others, one must first take care of themselves. Ms. Back excels at fostering an environment where her students feel safe and valued and she wishes to be the teacher that starts the conversation that changes the landscape of mental health in education. And our final finalist is Michael Lachette from White Oak High School. Michael Lachette is a 19-year educator who currently teaches career and technical education courses in health science at White Oak High School. He holds a bachelor's degree from Allied American University and master's in education specialist degrees from Liberty University. Mr. Lachette believes building positive relationships should be a top priority in education as trust and communication create environments where students thrive. He makes a point to get to know students and their families, whether he is helping them grow in the classroom or through his role as the faculty advisor for the White Oak Interact Club. Mr. Lachette said that to combat and prevent the issues schools are facing nationwide, including violence and school security, educators must be proactive and capitalize on their unique positions to partner with families and inspire positive change in the lives of students. So congratulations to all of our finalists and to all of our Teachers of the Year. How about another round of applause for all of these outstanding educators? Uh, this is the part where it gets loud, so if you want to cover your ears, please go ahead and do that, because we'd like to announce that the 2024-2025 Onslow County Schools Teacher of the Year is Marissa Back.
So congratulations again to all of our educators of the year. We thank you for all that you do for our students. Thank you for coming out tonight and have a great evening.